Welcome to The Appliance Show. I'm Jonathan, The Appliance Dude here at Curdo's in Westchester County. Big happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. I am so fired up today because a little something, something, a little something, something was dropped on me today. A little gift of sorts. Folks, there's no more time for speculation. There's no more time for pontification. There's no more looking at online photo galleries. There's no more looking at uh, a tattered copy of Architectural Digest from last fall. Okay? There's no more looking at websites because it's here. It is here in the flesh, folks. I present you the first Viking 7 Series range to be given to a dealer in the New York area. And I believe I am the first in the blessed union that we live in to have a Viking 7 Series range on their floor. Big thank you to the folks who agree with Mississippi. Yeah. There are four points, four really important points that you need to cling on to when you are considering purchasing one of these ranges. This, by the way, is a 36-inch six-burner all-gas range. They're going to be initially only available in 36 and 48, okay, gas or dual fuel. Um, the four points that really you need to consider and really think about, um, we're going to talk about uh, performance, number one, and we're going to talk about um, the design, aesthetic, sexiness factor, okay? We're going to talk about the build, and then we're going to talk about uh, trust, which is huge, huge. We're not going to forget about that one. Um, number one, from a performance standpoint, this, this, this is bringing to the table, uh, bringing a level to a sealed burner range that has not been touched upon before. Um, this range, the burners in the front are actually chalking at 23,000 BTUs. To get that type of performance up until now, you had to go to an open burner range. You had to rock a capital. You had to rock a blue star, okay, who are known as being performance leaders okay, in the industry. Um, this range has not only cracked that group, but um, they're doing it with a sealed burner system. What they're also doing, which is actually um, quite unique is their new trademarked, um, um, well, I like to call them volcano burners. They're actually, they're going to go by the name of elevation burners, which, which the burners are literally elevated off the top of the range. And the cool thing about that, two, two, two points, is that actually it's easier to clean, okay? So if there are any drippings or anything like that, they're not going to go into the, actually into the burner ports, which is very important. And also, what it does is it actually allows oxygen to kind of circulate underneath the burner, thus feeding the flame, making it even more powerful. Thermador does have something somewhat similar with the star burner, but they're really not elevated that much off of the, off the top of the range. These are like up there, okay? So um, again, incredible performance, brass burners, uh, they redesigned the grates. Um, in the oven, they have two, they have two, um, two rolling racks. Okay, they have also a infrared broiler. Would have liked to have seen, the gas range does not have a glass broiler, the dual fuel will. Would have liked to have seen a, uh, a glass broiler in the gas one as well, but whatever, you can't have everything. In the oven, they're also going to offer a, um, a convection, a baffled convection system, which is going to promote more airflow, make things actually cook quicker, more evenly, very cool. Um, so, you know, again, from, from a performance standpoint, they have really nailed it with this one. And um, the folks who usually come in for Capital, for Blue Star, you know, those are like, they're like serious, serious foodies. They're very passionate about the product category. Usually it's a different customer than a Viking customer or a Wolf or whatever, um, who are more about the brand and stuff like that. But now this, this takes Viking into a whole nother realm where it's like, whoa, this is like Tesla Porsche performance now, okay? Um, and I, I'm really, really interested in seeing how that's going to play out with uh, the foodie community. Um, those are your performance standpoints to kind of hang on to, okay? Um, let's talk about the aesthetics. Let's talk about the design. Let's talk about this range certainly has what I like to call the grrr factor. Very, very sexy. Um, beautiful, beautiful range. What they did with this to actually differentiate it from the existing five series, the professional ranges, they have like a, the bevels are actually bumped out. They popped them a little bit. Um, you'll find that the range is not as bulky, okay? It's not as... Um, I don't see those masculine looking, but I mean, it's, it's kind of, um, it's a little more streamlined, a little more nuanced. The edges are softer. Um, they, the fit and finish is absolutely fantastic on this. You could tell, you know, you could tell they really, really, really took the time uh, to put these together. Um, uh, what I also like about the top is the, um, the grates are actually quite different than the 5 Series grates. They're lower. 
Um, I love the way that the brass burners look on these as well. Very, very showy from the top. Um, they just did an incredible job. And it's also going to, of course, be available in the 12 standard colors um, that Viking is now uh, offering. The range is endless, and we're probably going to sell 99% are going to be stainless. But they have the wasabi, they have the apple red, the cinnamon, the Viking blue, uh, cobalt blue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So they, they definitely nailed it from a design standpoint. Uh, when they show this to the design community, they're going to be standing on their heads. They're going to love it.